Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 13th of December 2021, and the time now is 6.16 a.m. Well, today is our video review, and the topic is, should teenagers go to university or college? Right, so before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yeah, and uh, yeah, after watching this video, I actually, uh, it reminds me of uh, one of the things that uh, one of my friend told me when I was in the college, uh, which is um, the friend is Iranian. Yeah, he's not a local, uh, local resident. And then, uh, uh, he he came to our college, and then uh, one day he asked me that um, after graduations, and then it seems like uh, the uh, the salary for fresh graduate is around like two thousand, and uh, he think uh, that's totally kind of like unacceptable, and having spent so much money and then uh, spend so many years. And uh, after you graduate, you, you go to find a job. You cannot. You can only manage to get around like two thousand. And yeah, at, at that time, actually, uh, maybe he came from uh, another country, and he think uh, in Malaysia, the the salary for fresh graduate is uh, uh, yeah, maybe it's very low. And um, yeah, uh, in the video, it says that uh, the average it take the uh, the average data from uh, uh, from from people from those fresh graduate from teenagers in Malaysia is yeah uh, thousands five right for fresh graduate and uh, to be frank also for me um, uh, I after graduate I go to my father's company and uh, my salary uh, my uh, my first salary is also thousand five and. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and also um, uh, for uh, after me, uh, we actually also uh, after I leave the company, uh, they also get a new staff for that job, and then for that position, uh, yeah, uh, that guy is also a degree holder, and we also give thousand five, uh, and then uh, I think it somehow managed to. Uh, hire people with degree holders uh, for thousand five uh, two years ago. Yeah, I think um, uh, maybe nowadays uh, it is still possible because of the pandemic. And uh, if there is no pandemic, I think uh, maybe you can get around like thousand eight. Yeah, uh, but uh, don't be too positive for those fresh, fresh graduate because. Um, one of the problem is they are degree holder, but they have no uh, work experience. And uh, degree holder, um, the number of degree holder are so many. Um, uh, we can try to go to those uh, uh, job job looking website, and then we can see how many people apply for the same job. And also, you can see that uh, many jobs they actually put the requirements as uh, degree holder or at least maybe diploma. Yeah, so um, I really think that uh, degrees and diploma nowadays is really really common. And uh, yeah, if if we don't hold the, this kind of certificate uh, for those uh, those kind of job, maybe. Uh, you find it difficult to uh, to look for job. Yeah, so um, 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 yeah, I think uh, um, yeah, uh, maybe maybe uh, to to answer the question, should should they uh, go to university? Um, uh, I think for those people, uh, maybe who. Uh, who knows what they want to do uh, before study university or 
um, or maybe they need to try to uh, to 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 see the fact that uh, how how much they can learn after getting the degree, and also compare with the how much they pay for the degree sets and then the time, the opportunity cost uh, to compare. And then uh, do they still want to study? I think um, maybe this is the uh, uh, this is the things that uh, people having go to university should do. Um, yeah, they should uh, they should they should try to like uh, calculate. Yep, and uh, especially nowadays, getting a degree is really expensive if you go to uh, those physical university uh, or college. And uh, if people that they couldn't accept uh, the salary for a fresh graduate, maybe um, after, even after they go to university, they will also go to like uh, maybe uh, those property uh uh, company, I mean, uh, they become the agent, or maybe they go to uh, uh, become some sales agent of car selling, or uh, sell some products, sell some uh, maybe insurance, or what. And I think those kind of job, uh, yeah, really don't really uh, don't really need a degree certificate. So um, yeah, uh, so so uh, if they uh, if they couldn't accept, I think, uh, firstly, they uh, uh, don't need to go to the university or college. And if after that they find that they need some skill or what, uh, they can just go uh, to learn online. And uh, it's also possible to get those uh, uh, online certs. And then uh, maybe, um, I I'm not sure whether getting degree for free is that easy. Um, online, uh, even though it is possible, my, but I think uh, maybe it, it will face some difficulties. You have to uh, look for it, and uh, it is not impossible. Yep. And then uh, for those people maybe who wanted to um, uh, to do some professional job, for example, uh, maybe doctors, pharmacists, uh, maybe psychologists. Uh, uh, or maybe um, uh, uh, lecturers, that kind of job, I think, uh, yeah, uh, no choice, they have to go to university or college. And other than that, uh, um, yeah, actually, I, I found that uh, even though you go to, you, you manage to find a job, but um, you still face the same problem, which is the salary isn't that high let's say you go to maybe uh look for a job in a bank and then yeah, uh, uh bank connection uh -oh. connection last yeah. sentence is you still uh even though you still manage to find a job oh uh, yeah uh but um maybe the salary isn't that high maybe you couldn't uh you you couldn't get the desired salary even though maybe after a few years uh it is Oh, you are, you are no longer a fresh graduate, but uh, you find that your salary is still stuck, like maybe below three uh three thousand. Yeah, so um, uh, uh, this could be a problem for people that uh, expect to get a higher salary. So um um yeah uh yeah for this one actually I also um. Uh, don't know whether they should go. Uh, my short answer is uh, if they are clear that they want to be professionals, uh, no choice, they have to go. And uh, the, the second is if they, uh, if they couldn't accept uh, the salary of fresh graduate and also like uh, after a few years, you, get, you only manage to earn like uh, be, below 3000, then uh, maybe you look forward to uh, find a job in maybe sales or uh, some other jobs like uh, maybe uh, become the grab uh, grab car driver. Um, yeah, uh, uh, 
those people also don't have to go to college or university. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I think we discussed this before and um, we, we agree that the low salary phenomena is actually uh, actually kind of like caused by the oversupply of the of the diploma uh, degree or master mm. fresh graduate right yeah and then what's the cost what's the root cause for this oh you, you mean the the reason is it yeah uh, the reason of oversupply of these fresh graduate um Um, yeah, it is actually quite strange because uh, the price for getting a, a degree or diploma uh, actually keep rising, yeah. the cost keep rising, but uh, it seems like also people um, started to think that uh, go to university or college is, uh, is a brighter future, so uh, everybody do that and... Uh, do, do they really think they will have a brighter future? Some people, some people will say, and not some people, many of the people will say, just get the cert. Hmm. Yep. And uh, yeah, for this one, um, um, yeah, it is quite strange. Maybe uh, some people uh make decision because of their parents maybe parents want to send their children to university or college who pay for it um pay for, for the cost do you think pay for the cost i think uh um it is yeah i think maybe uh i don't know i think it may be half half uh, yeah i mean uh, uh who pay for your college cost for my college course, uh, I take a loan, and then uh, uh, the initial the the initial cost actually is borne by my parents. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and who lend you the money to to go to college? Uh, oh, what do you mean? The you, you say the initial payment? Uh, uh, no, that means the loan. Oh, the who loan is. The loan? Uh, by the government. Why the government want to give you the loan? Um, um, yeah, I think uh, they did it because uh, um, 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 I think it's for the country, um, like, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, to produce or to, uh, um, yeah, to, to produce more, uh, maybe diploma holder or degree holder for the country. What is the purpose to produce to to kind of like to cultivate to grow diploma degree holder. Um, the main point is the degree diploma holder. The main point is not hmm. it's not there. They're trying to they're trying to grow the person, the the people, the generation who had a skill set which fits the 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 years or the decade. They're trying to grow the diploma. They're trying to grow the degree holder, the fresh graduate. Mm. But they are not trying to to uh, to grow a generations that have the skill, that mm. have the ability to deal with the current futures. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, uh, to uh, to the current and the futures. Mm -mm. Yeah. This is also mentioned in the videos, right? Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but if you look at all of the country, except some, except some, except few countries, for example, Finland, mm. 
not many countries actually think for their generation's futures. Mm. And if you look at the diploma, the degree, even master uh, syllabus, uh, they are almost the same. Mm. Yep. Yeah. And if they are almost the same, and also the first thing is they are almost the same. And then the second is they didn't change much over the years, over a decade. Mm. Yeah, so these two is a problem. First is the first is they are similar, but can the same knowledge apply to every country? Um. Yeah, I think uh, it can't. Cannot. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So at least you need some minor adjustment, right, mm. about the syllabus yeah. to suit your country. So this is the first. This is the first thing, and the second is it didn't change over years. Over decade, can mm. can those knowledge and those wisdom or intelligence still applicable for current and futures? Maybe the maybe the information is outdated already, mm. Mm. but we yeah. still need to learn. And and when we study in college, when we studying in college, we also learn a lot of things that the lecturer tell us that is outdated, or this mm. is just a theory. Yeah. yeah, and why why we still need to learn if it if it's just a theory and there's no practical use in in reality. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so this is a problem. Mm. And what cost what cost the oversupply of labor? It's not your parents, it's the government. I think it's the government. And just you also mentioned uh, the prof the salary of the professionals is also low. Why? This is also because of the oversupply of this kind of fresh diploma degree master holder. They they are too much. Yeah, mm. they are too much of them. So, but there are no uh the demand the demand is not that much to to allow all. The fresh graduate to fill in the job. Mm. Yeah, so this is a problem. Mm. And when the first batch of fresh graduate start to accumulate some skill, it becomes the the junior. Yeah, and then the junior uh, also, uh after some uh, after some times become like the uh. Uh, maybe semi senior or senior, and senior also uh, like go to the <clears throat> maybe management, mm. else executive. Yeah, and the problem is keep accumulate, 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 and become bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. When the first, uh, when the first, I miss a. In the beginning, which is like maybe ten or twenty years ago, we couldn't see the consequence. Now we can see because those professionals were able to assess the easy loans. Yeah, and then they study the professional because they think they they will have a brighter futures. Yeah, and they they become the first batch or second batch or third batch, and yeah, at that time we already have maybe uh. Maybe still enough. Uh, maybe still enough supply, but the supply have been built in quite a lot, which is the percentage growth of the supply is grow, start to grow mm. exponentially. And when they become senior, when they become executive, when they become management, it's just within the ten or twenty years. Do you expect they go retire? No, still mm. too early. Yeah. yeah, and then how about the new come the, the newcomer? Every year there are tons and tons and tons and tons of the newcomer. Mm. Mm. And we have so many fresh graduates, we have so many junior, we have so many senior. Yeah. And the position is limited in a uh, in a company. We come because of 
uh, we have too much of the supply of the fresh graduate so we can promote our management to become top management we can like fill in more senior management we can we can hire more junior management we can hire more uh, fresh graduate we can't do that the company will not do that if the if the company don't have any plan to grow mm. yeah yeah so this is the root cause I think it's the easy launch and try to imagine. Yeah. If your parents have money. And but you couldn't assess the easy loan. Mm. How about the supply of the professional? Will, 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 will much lower. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a problem. And then their salary will not be that low. Compared to compared to uh, this universe, yeah, this parallel universe, yeah. So even though for professional, this is also a problem. And then how about for maybe non-professionals job? Yeah, and yeah, when you talk about professional, uh, maybe you refer to auditor, maybe you refer to accountants, you refer to doctor, lawyer. Yeah. Uh, teachers but the teacher really need the credential the teacher really need the cert to auditor to accountants really need the cert actually they don't actually they don't need mm. yeah even though for a doctor even though for a lawyer they they don't need they just have they just need to have enough experience yeah and a fresh graduate uh in 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 the maybe in the nursery uh, a nursery or maybe in the in the hospital uh in the hospitalization no matter if it's nurse no matter uh that direction is a nurse or doctors mm. are you um dare you let them to do the surgery for you um no <laughs> yeah yeah but if but if but if there is a doctor yeah, because maybe 40 years, 50 years ago, they don't have this kind of credential. But at that time, we still have doctors, right? Mm. Of course, we still have doctors 40 years, 50 years ago. And they don't have uh, good certificates. Maybe at that time, the law is not, uh, uh, it's, it's not that comprehensive like today. We don't have like the... <clears throat> Uh, strong certificates in order to, in order to like, uh, save people life. Mm. Mm. And they start to grow the experience. Yeah. And <clears throat> yeah, they already become doctor. For example, some some doctor, uh, which is in the TCM traditional Chinese medicines, mm. they don't have credential. They don't have like the doctor certificates. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but they still can save people life. They still can uh, uh, cure cure your disease. Yeah, and would you prefer them compared to a fresh graduate? I prefer the old man mm. because yeah. of their experience. Mm. If they couldn't earn money, if they uh, sorry, uh, if if they couldn't save people life, they couldn't earn money. If they couldn't earn money, they they, they will not sustain their career until today. This is a very, 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 very simple logic. Right? Mm. Yeah. So, mm. so, yeah. So, I think the main problem is a launch. And we borrow our futures to study. And this is actually an investment. Yeah. And we use the leverage to do the investment. But what you get, for example, if you have if you have a big amount of money, and then you do investment, you expect the returns. But in this case, we we take a loan, and then we put in to our education. What we expect. 
Mm. Yeah. And we expect we have a brighter future. We expect to have a higher salary. But when mm. everyone doing the same thing, yeah, when everyone doing the same thing, could every of them have the brighter future? Could every of them have high salary? This is a very, very silly question, but nobody such a point, uh, nobody pointing it out, right? Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, if you want the whole country or the whole global have a higher salary, it must relate to the productivity. The global productivity, your country productivity is increased. The overall productivity increased. Yeah, so we can have higher salary because our time is more valuable. But your productivity is still remain the same. And you always supply the, the people who don't have the skill. <clears throat> they didn't learn how to improve their productivity. They just get a search. <clears throat> then can you expect every of them, their salary increase? No way. This is not the case. Mm. Yeah. You cannot force a capitalist, you cannot force a company to pay high salary for the for the worker. You just couldn't force it. Yeah. It, what what capitalist can do? First, he needs to increase the price. So it will the price uh the additional cost is is uh is bear by the consumer. So we have the inflation. Mm. Yeah, everyone will still suffer. Their salary increase, but the inflation also increase. They are indifferent, or even worse. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the second way they can do is reduce the amount, reduce the quantity of the staff they hire. Yeah. So this this is the two thing that uh. They can do if you force them to increase the minimum. Uh, if you force or you, or if you implement the minimum salary, minimum mm. wages for them. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, they just go bankrupt or they just close the business. Yeah, mm. because it's not profitable anymore. Mm. Yeah. Because they they are, they are not the uh, they are not a non-profit organization. Yeah. They, if they keep operating the business, it's kind of like they hire more staff, they keep operating the business, they, they are doing the donation. They donate to, to their employees. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so this is a this is a whole <clears throat> this is a whole concept. And so what can be our strategy? What can be the individual strategy? What can be uh, the strategy for those people who haven't go to university. Mm. Yeah. Yep. The first thing One of is, it is go yeah. out of Malaysia. <laughs> no, no, no. You go out of Malaysia, you go to other country, you face the same problem. You still face the same problem. You come to Singapore, you also face the same problem. Yeah. <clears throat> you go to other country, you also face the same problem. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The first thing is <clears throat> um, utilize the free education that are available in the internet. You want to increase your productivity. You are not going to get a search. Mm. To increase your productivity, you need education. Of course, and you need the knowledge, you need the wisdom, you need, you need some people teach you. Yeah, so we can think better, you can act better. You can learn the things they can apply on your work. Mm. So we can make better decisions, you can help company to make money. Yeah, so you access to the free education and learn. Yeah, learn as much as you can. And you are learning is not because you are in, um, you are desire for the search. You are desire for the knowledge, for the wisdom. 
Yeah. <coughs> for the yeah. mindset, for the thinking method that can make a better decision. <coughs> or some real skill sets. For example, coding, programming, <coughs> uh, programming language, uh, learn some programming language. Mm. Yeah. Or or maybe uh improve the language, learn the English, yeah. So you can so so you have a better opportunity. You can go to other country. Yeah. Mm. Or you can or you can work in a company or you can uh, uh, go to other cities that require a uh, high level English because they speak English. Yeah. Mm. So this is the first thing. And then the second thing is work to learn. And you can take no salary or take a very, very, very low salary to work and learn. Yeah. And you learn, you learn from your job. You acquire, you, you cultivate, uh, I mean, sir, you, you acquire the experience. You accumulate the experience from the work, which is the real, the real things. Yeah, this is the real thing. The theory in the, in the city bus of the, of the college, of the university, of a particular subject is not the real things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The so work experience is the real things. So you accumulate it. And mm. after some time, maybe three months, six months, one year, you will have enough experience to able to perform your current task. If you still can't perform your current task, that's your problem. Mm. You need to improve your productivity. Yeah. And if you perform worse, then the employer pay you, the employer will, will, will dismiss you. Yeah, will, uh, will fire you. Yeah, even though you, even though you have, even though you demand low salary, uh, so, uh, low salary or no salary already, because you have to travel. <laughs> yeah, if you don't have any productivity or maybe yeah. create negative productivity to the company. They will fire you. Yeah, this is your problem. Yeah. So productivity is the main things you need to focus on. Mm. No matter in learning, no matter in work experience. And after some time, maybe three months, six months, one year, you already accumulate the experience. You can negotiate the salary terms with your employer. Yeah. Mm. If they don't if they don't give you a high salary and you really you really have you, you really deserve the salary because of your productivity, mm. you can find other job. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, uh you may face some difficulty because uh maybe your second job, the employers don't believe you, don't trust you because you don't have cert. Mm. But uh, you also can take a low salary. You can argue with your employer. Yeah, I work in this company. My last company is this, and I perform. Uh, what was my result? And then, yeah, you you can you can have you can have a probation. Mm. I can accept have a much lower salary during the probation because I know I don't have diploma or degree. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and if I really deserve for the salary because of my productivities, and after probation, you raise my salary back to the market salary, or maybe a little bit below market salary. I can accept. Yeah. So, uh, by achieving that, you need to maintain a good relationship with your employer, with other staff. Yeah. So you will have channel. You have have the, you will have the uh, have have the opportunity to find a better job if your current employer is credentialism. Yeah. Focus mm. on the focus on the search. Yeah. Yeah. And also <clears throat> uh, when you resign from the company, it doesn't mean that you couldn't help your uh, you, you couldn't ask your employer uh write a uh, 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 write a letter for you mm. to yeah. assist you to find a better job. 
yeah, if you maintain a good relationship with your employer, just because uh, you couldn't, you, you couldn't stay <clears throat> with the with, with this kind of low salary because you you can't, your cost of living is is keep increasing. Mm. Yeah, uh, you are just uh, you are just uh, you are just die because of the salvations. Yeah, and if your employer uh, don't increase your salary, even though your productivity is Hi, and then you can communicate with your employer. Yeah, because of this reason, I really can't work for your company, even though I really, really want to work for you. Yeah, because you, you, uh, you, 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 you allow me to learn so much things. Yeah, but just because of theory, I couldn't survive. I just mm. couldn't survive. I need to go out. Yeah. yeah. I know your, I know your company, your business. Uh, uh, uh maybe you have your own concerns. Yeah, so the situation is different. Yeah, so just let me uh, go out and find a better job so I can survive. Yeah, you also don't want to see me die in your company because of starvation, because of going to hospital. This is not good for your company reputation. Yeah. yeah. So like that. Yeah. Uh, if you maintain a good relationship with your employer, they will help you. Yeah, they definitely will help you. Yeah, so, and also one thing is, uh, in my personal experience, not many employers is credentialism. They just don't care how, how, how high, what grade you get in your diploma, in your degree. They just don't care. They focus on your experience. They focus on your ability. They may give you some tests during the interview mm. yeah yeah because <laughs> yeah there are so much degree holder there are so much diploma holder they mm. they just couldn't use it to to filter to filter the worker like five years ago or three years ago anymore they are just too much mm. every yep. people are the same if you say half of the people is diploma holder, 30% of people is degree holder, and the remaining the, the remaining is uh uh don't don't have any credential, don't have any mm -hmm. diploma or degree search. Yeah, they will uh, they will prefer diploma or prefer degree if if their salary is the same. Mm. Yeah, but now you couldn't find uh you you couldn't find the people don't have diploma. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and this is few this is some few strategy. And mm. the last strategy uh, I could think of. Uh yeah, it's it's also made it's also mentioned in the video. Uh but 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 in this video this is just a kidding, but to me, uh I'm serious. Mm. Which is you need to find a better money. <clears throat> You need to save your money in non-fiat currency. Maybe save your money in stock markets. Maybe save your money in gold or maybe save your money in crypto. Yeah. You work and then you earn money, save some money in crypto, save some, save some money in Bitcoin, especially Bitcoin. Yeah, because mm. this this is a fiat problem. This is this is the global problem. This this is not your country problem. This is a global problem. And what is the root cause of all of this? It's because of the fiat currency. Somebody can print the money out of thin air. If, if the politicians, if the government, if the central bank can do that, it will destroy the market. Make, make the market uh, no, no longer effective. Yeah. Just like you see, uh, oversupply, oversupply of the late, uh, oversupply of the diploma degree master holder, mm. but they create no value to the society. Mm. They create mm. no value to the company. Yeah. Who allows? Who, who allows them to make the decision? It's you. Yeah. It's the government. It's the central bank because you allow them to lend money. You mm. borrow the money at a very, very low rate. 
Yeah. Yeah. And you think it is good for them. Yeah. But when everyone starts doing that, and the real productivity, the company, the, the, the technology breakthrough need time, need time to realize. Mm. Uh, the machinery need time to build. And yeah, everything needs time to, to build. You just create tons and tons of one of the cost of production, one of, oh, sorry, one of the factor of production, which is labor. And also that's not labor. This is just the fresh graduate. They are not labor. Mm. Yeah, and company demand labor. Company not demands the degree master or even a doctor holder. They are not. They are not demands. They are not demand the search. They are demands some people can create greater value, so they can they can earn money from that. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So so that's my thing for the thing. Hmm. Yeah. I think your strategy is. Uh... Um, yeah, it, it's it's really good. It compares the um, working experience, and then uh, with the the power of the search, right? And uh, without going to college or university, uh, uh, because college and university we spend at least like uh, two years, or yeah, I, I think at least two years, and then at most maybe you can go up to uh, four years or more. Mm -hmm. And then uh, within these, uh, let's say we take the average three years. Um, yeah, actually, uh, in these three years, we can uh, earn many working exper experience, and, and also, also salary. yeah, salary. Even though we maybe we just uh, demand for a very low salary, but compared to uh, going to university, you actually didn't earn, but you spend, right? You spend mm -hmm. out the money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so the. They are they are huge opportunity costs to go mm. to universities. Yep. So we can maybe you can just uh, take out the cost of uh, going to university to do a simple comparison. Like maybe you go to university, maybe you need let's say fifty k, and then uh, and your uh, and your parents need to subsidize you ten or twenty k. Mm, and then yep. compared to your 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 borrow money from your parents, maybe mm. five five k, or or maybe like even lower. To cover your cost of living, or you stay mm. with your parents first. You eat, you eat at home first. You bring, you bring your food to office first. Mm. Bring your work, or bring to your place. So you try to reduce your cost of living. Yeah. Yeah, and then you borrow the money from your parents to cover your cost of living, mm. and it will be much lower. Yeah, and yeah. it will be enough for you to break even after you uh, uh before you accumulate enough experience before you get a salary rise mm. yeah yeah i think uh <clears throat> um the uh, it is it is really a good strategy to use the uh the working experience because uh, this is really the thing that uh, that the employer will consider other than the search and uh, yeah, you're right to compare like uh, this now you give some ex extreme example like uh, the doctor, the fresh graduate doctor and uh, maybe uh, an older doctor but with no cert. Yeah, um, um, for us, we of course, we choose the one that who have works experience when it comes to the labor market. Um, yeah, I think I believe that three years working experience uh, a candidate uh, must be able to fight with fresh graduate, and uh, I don't think they are kind of like worse than the the degree holder, the degree holder fresh graduate. Mm. They are richer, they are smarter, mm. and they have more experience. Their mm. own, their productivity is higher. Yeah, mm. they can start their investment earlier. Mm. Yeah, better off at always. Yeah, at 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 all aspects mm. mm. yeah and also just now you say to exploit the those online uh, free degree course and or some free training course where we don't talk about the cert um mm. yeah that's really good because uh you uh, most of them you do it uh uh while you're working right after after mm. work 
Um, so you, you actually do it at the same time. And after you complete all those that you don't carry a burden, you don't carry a, a loan with you. And also it cultivates um, the habits we should keep learning, learn in your whole life. Unlike the, <laughs> unlike some fresh graduate, after they graduate, they don't learn. Mm. Yeah. Even though there are so many free education online, yeah. but they just don't learn. They don't continue to learn because mm. they think that they have finished their learning. Yeah, of course, um, try to put yourself into their shoes. They have spent so much money and so much time in universities from maybe from age three or age uh, six. Yeah. Uh, 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 start from primary school and until like maybe 24 years uh, or, or 22 or 23 years old, they have so they, they have spent so much time and money being unproductivity in order to learn. But after they get the search, after that, they, they, they found it, oh, oh my God. Uh, I spent so many years, 20 plus years in order to earn 1,500 ringgit. Mm. What if yeah. I spend my 20 years to specialize something? <laughs> Even mm. though I, I spend the time to learn how to cook, to learn how to farm, to learn how to, uh, how to grow chicken, to, to learn how to grow the food, I can survive. <laughs> mm. I, I, I don't need a job, I can survive already. If yeah. I can spend two, 20 years on, on, on that, yeah, I can learn how to, how to repair the life out. I, I even can learn how to install the solar panel, so I don't mm. need I don't need to subscribe the utility from the electricity yeah. company. I can learn everything. I can learn how to filter the water from mm. from, from the uh, rain water, so I don't need to to subscribe the water service from the utility company. Yeah, mm. I can learn how to uh, how to build the stove, and then I can find. I can find way. I can learn how to how to make fire, so I don't need to buy gas. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, one thing you mentioned in the video, which is, uh, nowadays college and university is like really like uh, how to say, commercialized. Um, yes. uh, they they don't really care about maybe. After graduate, how are you going to uh, use the skill that you have learned? Um, yeah, they don't just they just don't care about that. They just want you to come and then pay the fees, and yeah, they get the money. Yeah, and they are the benefit. Uh, uh, they are the they are those group who benefit who are who get the benefit from from the EG loans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you are able to to borrow money from government and then to pay them. Mm. So yeah. they have they, they, they have uh they have much higher demands compared to ten years ago, compared to twenty years ago. Mm. They don't they don't really need to think for their customer how to create value for them. They just don't need because the demand is too huge. Mm. And everyone will need the degree search, everyone will need diploma search, everyone need to come, need to go to college. Mm. Mm. And they are able to do that, they are very easy to do that because we have easy loans and they are forced to do that. So, and also, this means I am, I can exploit, I can exploit these, these kind of gaps in order to earn money. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, they don't, they don't like other businesses. They don't really need to, to provide value to their customer. If a company don't provide value to their customer, it will go blank, uh, it will go bankrupt very, very soon. But if you look at how university, how college operate, first, cooperate with government. Yeah, let government become your background. Mm, yeah. yeah. So this is applicable for all public school, public college, public university, or half 
pri or, or half private, half uh, public. Yeah. So you search have the uh, is guaranteed by the government. Yeah. Yeah. The country, the country, uh, approve approve your search. Yeah. Unlike like um, maybe some uh, some schools, yeah, their, their secondary living school certificate is not approved. It's not acceptable by by the government. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So this is the first. And second, cooperate with cooperate with overseas branded universities, just like our college. Mm. Yeah, get a course from uh, uh, uh from the overseas uh, branded universities. Yeah, so they just need to get the they just need to get a course. They just need to communicate and negotiate the terms. And prove that they can find a lot of students, and so that they can contribute, they can allow the light the the licensor to earn money because they are kind of like the license like licensees. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So they will spend much of the effort on that. Mm. And also, yeah, of course, uh, they need to hire a lecturer. Mm. But they just need to cut their cost, cut their cost because, uh. Because the student want to search, and also when they when they pay the money, they have no way to to quit. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. don't need to worry about it. Yeah. The even though the quality of the lecture is bad, yeah, the students don't have way to to get out. Their switching cost is, is so high. Yeah. Mm. They just want to search. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Okay. So anything you want to add in? Uh, no. Yeah. So that's all for our today's conversations. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not many speakers in found any vocal mistake that we make. Please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to like and subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.